In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to create the uh, splash screens and icons necessary for iOS and Android uh, when submitting to app stores. And so if you've never been through this process before, basically we need to create a whole bunch of different icons and splash screens uh, for Android and iOS because there is so many different uh, device types. Uh, different size devices will have different size splash screens, they're going to use different size icons. Uh, and so we need to create separate uh, images for each of those. Uh, this is the documentation for Cordova here, which lists some of, uh, this is for the icon specifically. And so you can see the different sort of sizes that are required uh, for Android here. Uh, you can see there's um, six, uh, six different sizes depending on the, the DPI of the device. And we've also got the iOS ones here. And there's a whole range of different ones. And we've even got uh, retina and non-retina versions of the same uh, icon. So we've got the 76 uh, pixel one here and then 76 at two times. So obviously creating all of these icons is just a massive pain uh, and it's not something you want to do. Uh, you won't have a good time. Uh, fortunately, Ionic has a command uh, built into the command line interface that can create all of these for you. You just have to supply it with the uh, initial original file and it will go about resizing to all of these different sizes for you. And so the way that we can do that is uh, obviously we need to supply some kind of graphic, uh, but we have this thing called uh, the Ionic, oh, Ionic resources. It's a command that we can use. Uh, so if I just type Ionic help resources uh, into the command line now, it's going to uh, show the documentation for that specific command. And so you can see here, it says it will automatically create, uh, we'll just close that, uh, automatically create the icon and splash screen resources. And all we have to do is put our images in the resources directory and name them splash or icon. And so we can supply a PNG, an AI file or a PSD. And so all we need to do is put those files in that folder and then run Ionic resources or if you just want to generate just the icon or just the splash, you can also uh, supply the icon or splash flags. So I'm gonna go through a really quick example uh, of doing this. Uh, and so the files we need to use, I've got an example up here. Uh, we need to create a splash screen that is 2,208 pixels uh, by 2,208 pixels uh, and a icon that is 192 by 192 pixels. And so the icon is quite uh, obvious it's a square it's just going to get resized to whatever uh, size is necessary uh, but the splash screen is a bit more difficult because you have uh, horizontal or landscape versions of uh, the splash screen you have portrait versions you have uh, different uh, just different device sizes with different proportions and it's uh, it's not a simple just resizing of the image and so what you need to do is sort of have this guide set up here uh, where you kind of have this safe zone in the middle. This is uh, an area that's not going to get cropped out. And then all this stuff around the edges, this is stuff that is potentially going to be included, but potentially cropped out. Uh, so the idea is that you want to do all the important stuff in here. Uh, you say you have your logo or whatever you need. Uh, and I guess the less important stuff shouldn't occupy this space. So uh, when designing it, make sure that if this sections, these sections around here were cropped out that it wouldn't look weird. Uh, so if you try to, let's say, do a logo here, uh, we'll just crank that up to say 700, maybe 500. Uh, so if I want my logo to take up the entire screen here, on some devices, it's just gonna say why log uh, because the M and the O are gonna get cropped out. Uh, so instead, you wanna make sure it fits nicely into this center portion. And if you do have some stuff going on in the background, make sure that it makes sense for it to be cropped out. Uh, of course, if you do want to make use of more space, you can do that if you want. It just means that you're going to have to manually uh, create and save these for individual platforms yourself rather than relying on this command, uh, which will generate them all automatically for you. Uh, so let's say that is my the splash screen I want to go with, uh, obviously, it's not that exciting, uh, but I have to save that now as uh, splash.png 
into my resources folder and then I also need to save this logo which we'll just have as a we'll have it as a white square why not actually now I'm going to change it I will make it a a pink square And so I'll need to save that as logo.png in the resources folder for my project. So I'm going to do that now and then we'll run the command. Okay, so I've got the resources folder opened here now and you can already see there's a default icon.png and splash.png that Ionic put in the projects by default. Uh, so I'm just going to overwrite the existing splash.png with my own. And now I'm just going to do the same for the icon. So I'll just change that to PNG and overwrite icon.png with that. So we'll save that. And I'm also just going to bring up the, um, uh, the folder for that uh, project now as well. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the folder open here. I'm just going to go into the resources folder. And you can see I've got my splash and my icon uh, in there now ready to go. Uh, if we look in the Android uh, file uh, folder right now, uh, you'll see we just have the default icons there uh, that Ionic have just added to the project by default. But when we run the command, we hope to see our own resources there instead. So if I come into the uh, command line now, I'm, all I have to do is just run Ionic resources. Uh, so I'll hit enter and we'll let that do its thing. You can see that it's uploading uh, my files to the server there. Now it's going about creating all of those different um, uh, formats that we needed. Okay, so that's done generating now. Uh, if we jump into the iOS folder here, take a look in the splash screen uh, folder, we can see all of our uh, splash screens uh, created for us here at the different sizes. You can see we've got some uh, some portraits, some landscape. And if we jump into the icon folder, we see the same. And we do our lovely pink uh, logo at all the different sizes we require. Now, if we go into the Android folder now, uh, this won't actually be done. We still just have the uh, default images in there. Now, that's because we haven't added the um, uh, the Android platform to this project yet. So if I want to do that, uh, I'll just do uh, Ionic platform add Android. I will let that add. And now if we were to run the Ionic resources command again, I'm not actually going to run just Ionic resources, let's um, let's say we only want to create the splash screens. Um, so I'll run Ionic resources and give the splash flag. So we'll let that run. So you can see just there it's only uploading the splash. Okay, so now if we go into the splash screen folder, we can see that uh, all of the splash screens for Android are there now. But if we were to go to the icon folder, uh, we don't see anything because we gave the splash flag uh, instead of creating both the splash and the icon. And the last thing I want to show you here is uh, the config.xml file. So if you open up uh, the config.xml file for your project, uh, this is the, the file that kind of configures the Cordova build. Uh, if you looked in here before we ran the Ionic resources command, uh, you wouldn't have seen all of this. Uh, you notice we have these splash source uh, entries and icon source entries. So uh, this also handles setting up all of the images in the config file as well. If you just add the images without adding them to the config file, they're not going to be uh, used uh, for the splash screen and for the icon. So you need to have these entries in here, but obviously typing all of this out is a lot of work as well. So uh, with the Ionic resources command, we don't need to worry about that either. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.